the pharynx can be divided into three regions. The superior region right over here is the nasopharynx. This region in the middle is called the oropharynx. And this region right over here behind the larynx is called the laryngopharynx. So let's first look at the nasopharynx. The nasopharynx extends from the internal nares to the tip of the soft palate, the uvula right over here. So this is the region of the nasopharynx. Notice that you have some structures associated with the nasopharynx, including right over here, you have the opening of the auditory tube, which is also known as the eustachian tube. This tube connects the nasopharynx with the middle ear. In the posterior wall of the nasopharynx, you have the pharyngeal tonsil. The pharyngeal tonsil is also known as the adenoid. The oropharynx is located right over here behind the oral cavity. It extends from the tip of the soft palate to the tip of the epiglottis. And within the oropharynx, you'll find the palatine tonsils, which are located here between folds of mucous membrane, which extend from the soft palate. And right over here, at the root of the tongue, you have the lingual tonsil. The laryngopharynx is located right over here behind the epiglottis and extends to the opening of the esophagus. Although the nasopharynx and the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx are all sections of the pharynx, there is a difference in the lining that you find on the mucous membrane of each of these. The epithelium of the mucous membrane of the nasopharynx is your typical upper respiratory epithelium, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, PCCE. And the epithelium that you find here in the oropharynx and in the laryngopharynx is stratified squamous epithelium, which is typical of the epithelium uh, that you find in the oral cavity and which is more resistant to abrasion by articulate matter.